Hello. This video is to demonstrate the simple procedure to perform one-shot in-service software upgrade procedure with minimal disruptive restart on ASR 1000. The classic ASR 1000 SSU upgrade procedure is a three-step procedure. The first step is to issue the SSU load version command. And this command will result in the standby RP upgrade to the new version. The second step is to issue the SSU run version command. This command will result in the switchover of the standby RP become the active RP running the new version. And the standby ESP will upgrade to the new version and do a switchover, become the active ESP running the new version. And the standby ESP will upgrade to the new version. Then the SIP and the SPA will upgrade to the new version with minimum disruptive restart. The last step is to perform the hardware module slot standby RP reload. This step will result in the standby RP upgrade to the newer version. So by now you have an entire system running the newer version. And the one-shot procedure automated all the three steps with single CLI. So this demo will show you how it is done. So this is the router used in the demo today. It's Acer 1006. You can see that by show platforms. It has redundant route processor 2 and redundant ESP40 and SIP card and the SPA interface. And I have Gig003 and Gig004 are connected to TGEN port. So it's back-to-back -back topology. And I'm sending bidirectional traffic between those two Gigi port. And let's take a look. The version I'm running currently is iOS XE release 3.9.0. And today we're going to upgrade to release 3.9.1. I already pre-download the image on my boot flash. Now let's take a look at the traffic generator config. So this is the traffic generator. I have two port, 203 slash 2 and 202 slash 2. They're just sending bidirectional IPv4 traffic. Each port sending 148,000 frames per second. Let's start the traffic. So the one-shot procedure is document on Cisco.com. You can easily get that by Google ASR1000 SSU keyword, and you will get to this page. And the command syntax is request platform software package install file, there's MDR keyword, and there's a link to the MDR section, which lists all the supported hardware. In particular, it is supported with SIP40 and Gigi Spa in release 3.8 and Pod Spa in release 3.10. Now let's go back to our router. So let's enter the command request platform software package. You can do a question mark, see the option, install, note, we want to upgrade the entire system, file, then put flash. 
we put into the new image we want to upgrade the system to and do a question mark we see the MDR option and with the fourth keyword the fourth keyword is used in this case I have ATM spa in my secondary SIP and uh, without the fourth keyword uh, system will detect there's MDR incompatible uh, share port adapter will abort the command so the fourth keyword will let the system to continue the MDR upgrade for the supported SPA and the SIP and we'll do a reload upgrade on the specific ATM SPA so now the upgrade has begun okay at this stage we can see entire system complete SSU upgrade. Let's do a show platform to see the status. Now we have two raw processor and two forwarding processor. They in ac active standby mode. And let's see what version systems is currently running. It is running iOS AC version 3.9.1. So at this point, SSU upgrade complete. Let's take a look traffic. So traffic still running. Let's stop it. So this is amount of traffic we're sending on each port just for the easy reading just let's read the last uh, three digit uh, 929, 929 and uh, this column is number of packet received on each port so 925 and 926 what that means is on each port uh, uh, we only lose four packet and three packet and now let's go back to the console and review some of the message so this is where the one shot SSUMDR command was entered. The first stage is to install the new version 3.9.1 image on the standby RP. That's exactly the slide I'm showing you, the step one. Then here's the metric message about MDR is not supported on the slot 1 base 3 so that is the ATM spa in my system and uh, basically the compatibility failed however I have the fourth keyword therefore the MDR upgrade proceeding and with the fourth uh, option on the ATM spa. The rest of the system, the SIP and spa, still going through the MDR procedure. And stage two is to execute the run version and switch over to the standby RP. And this is phase. Let's take a look at the previous standby RP.
basically the standby RP is upgrading to the new version 3.9.1 release and once the system reach SSO state and the stage 2 will kick in and uh, switch the system to the standby RP uh, running 3.9.1 so basically now you have a system with newly active RP running the newer version of the image and the previous active RP and now it's the uh, the standby is uh, it becoming standby. It's still running the uh, 3900, the older version of the previous version of the image. And now let's look at the message on the newly active RP. What happened is the standby forwarding processor F1 is being upgraded to the new version and it will do a switch over so you can see the F0 was the pre-active ESP is becoming standby. Now we have a system with active RP and active ESP running the new version. And the previous active ESP, which is F0, becoming is being upgraded to the new version and will become the standby. And the SIP and the SPA is going through MDR upgrade procedures. And those messages mean the SIP and SPA, they complete their MDR procedures. And the uh, standby FP the F0 is being upgraded to the new version and get at this point it reached the standby state and at this point entire system reach SSO state and exactly as shown in my slide the last step is for the standby RP upgrade to the new version and get reloaded. So here's the message the standby RP upgrade to 3.9.1 version and reloaded. Once it's come up, you can see system reach standby hot. Entire SSU upgrade on the S1006 is complete. It takes about close to 30 minutes and we verify the traffic loss on each port is about four packet and three packet and this is the end of this video thanks for watching